The Truth About Boa Kwang Boa, born November 5, 1986, known professionally as Boa, is a South Korean singer, songwriter, record producer and actress. Boa has been recognized as one of the most successful and influential Korean entertainers throughout her career, and is therefore commonly credited as the Queen of K-pop. Born and raised in Gyeonggi-do, South Korea, she was discovered by SM Entertainment talent agents when she accompanied her older brother to a talent search in 1998 and was trained for two years. Since her debut in August 2000, Boa has released 20 studio albums, including 10 in Korean, 9 in Japanese, and 1 in English. On television, she appeared as a judge on the reality competition show K-Pop Star, 2011-2013, as an actress on the television drama Listen to Love, 2016, as a host for the second season of Produce 101, 2017, and as a coach for the third season of The Voice of Korea, 2020. Boa's multilingual skills, she speaks Japanese and English along with native Korean and has recorded songs in Mandarin, have contributed to her commercial success throughout Asia outside of South Korea such as China, Japan, Singapore and Taiwan. With the release of her debut Japanese studio album, Listen to My Heart, 2002, Boa became the first Korean pop star to break through in Japan following the fall of barriers that had restricted the import and export of entertainment between the countries since the end of World War II. She is the only foreign artist to have three albums sell more than one million copies in Japan and is one of only three female artists to have six consecutive number one studio albums on the Oricon chart since her debut, the others being Umi Hamasaki and Utada Hikaru. Career, 2000-2003, debut and commercial success in South Korea and Japan, at age 11, Boa accompanied her older brother to an SM Entertainment talent search. Though her brother was the one who auditioned as a break dancer, SM talent scouts instead took notice of Boa and offered her a contract on the same night as the auditions. Her parents initially opposed the notion of Boa leaving school to enter the entertainment business but eventually consented at her older brother's persuasion. She has said that her early influence as a singer was Seo Teji. Boa underwent two years of training, involving vocal, dance, English, and Japanese lessons, and at the age of 13 released her debut album ID. Peace be in South Korea on August 25, 2000. The album was moderately successful. It entered the top 10 of the South Korean charts and sold around 156,000 units. Meanwhile, her Korean record label, SM Entertainment, made arrangements with Japanese label Avex Tracks to launch her music career in Japan. She was forced to quit school to prepare and in early 2001, Boa released her first mini-album, Don't Start Now. It sold around 90,000 units. After its release, she took a hiatus from the Korean music industry to focus on the Japanese market at which time she worked to solidify her skills in Japanese. Boa began her Japanese music career singing at the Arvex own club Valfer. Her debut Japanese album, Listen to My Heart, was released on March 13, 2002. The album was a breakthrough in Boa's career, becoming an RIAJ certified million seller and debuted atop the Oricon, the first album by a Korean artist to do so. It was promoted with several singles, the top 20 hit ID. Peace Be, originally from the eponymous album, Amazing Kiss, Kimoki Watsuharu, the top 5 hit Listen to My Heart, and the top 10 Every Heart, Men and O Kimoki. After the September 11, 2001 attacks, Boa recorded the charity single The Meaning of Peace with Kumi Koda as part of Avex's Song Nation project to raise funds for charity. From 2001 to 2007, Boa hosted Beat It Boa's World, a radio program on the Japan FM network. After the release of Listen to My Heart, Boa released her second Korean studio album, Number One, a month later. The album sold around 544,000 units and became the fourth best-selling record of the year in South Korea. Jumping into the world, a Japanese re-release of the mini-album Don't Start Now, and the Japanese single Don't Start Now were released a month later on the same day. At the end of the year, Boa released her second Korean mini-album Miracle. Boa's second Japanese studio album, Valenti, January 2003, became her best-selling album, with over 1,249,000 copies sold. Three singles preceded its release, Valenti, which peaked at the number two position on the Oregon chart, Kaiseki slash number one and Jewel Song slash Beside You, Boko o Yoboko, both which also peaked at the number three position. In support of the album, Boa launched Boa First Live Tour Valenti, her first Japanese concert tour. Citation needed later that year, she released two Korean albums, Atlantis Princess and the mini-album Shine We Are. The former was the fifth best-selling South Korean record of the year with around 345,000 units sold. The latter sold around 58,000 units. 2004-2008, New Image, 
foray into China, and creative control. Boy at a W. -W. Sign event in September 2006, her third Japanese studio album, Love and Honesty, January 2004, was a musical change in direction it contained a rock dance song, Rock With You and Harder R&B. Though the album failed to match Valenti in sales, it topped the Oricon chart for two weeks and became RIAJ certified triple platinum. In support of the album, Boa held a tour, live concert tour 2004, Love and Honesty, spanning nine performances and attracted approximately 105,000 attendants. In contrast with First Live Tour, which emphasized exotic Asian design, the Love and Honesty Tour had an outer space, sci-fi theme. Among the props were a three-story high spaceship and a robot Asimo. Her first compilation album, Best of Soul, February 2005, however, sold over a million copies, making Boa the first non-Japanese Asian singer to have two million selling albums in Japan. Boa reinvented her image for her fourth and fifth Korean albums, My Name, June 2004, and Girls on Top, June 2005, shedding the cute and youthful style that had characterized previous years and adopted a more sexy and sultry look. The sales of Boa's Korean albums began to decline, My Name sold 191,000 units and became the 11th best-selling South Korean album in 2004 while Girls on Top ranked 14th in 2005 with 113,000 units sold. In September 2004, Boa instigated controversy in Japan when she donated 50 million to a memorial project for Korean independence activist and nationalist and Jung Join. Her fourth Japanese studio album, Outgrow, February 2006, reached the number one spot on the Oricon chart for its first week of release, making it her fourth consecutive original Japanese album to do so. With 220,000 copies sold, it became her lowest-selling first-week debut for a studio album at that point. Do the Motion, the first single from the album, reached the top spot, making her the fourth non-Japanese Asian to have a number one single on the Oricon charts. Merry Christmas from Boa, 2005, the album's last single, was the singer's first digital single. That May, Boa renewed her contract with SM Entertainment until 2012. At the time it was noted that she had a shareholding in the company of 100,000, approximately worth $1 million USD. She also voiced Heather the Possum in the Korean and Japanese version of the animated film Over the Hedge. On September 21, 2006, she released her first digital single in Korea, a Korean version of Key of Heart. In support of Outgrow, Boa launched a special Zap tour, BOA The Live, on September 29, 2006 which lasted until October 29. She staged her first Christmas concert on December 7, 2006. Three singles preceded Boa's fifth Japanese studio album, made in 20, January 2007, the top three Nanero no Ishida, Brand New Beat, Slash Your Color, the top ten Key of Heart, and the number two hit Winter Love. The album, which contained R&B and dance songs as well as ballads, debuted at the top of the weekly Oricon charts, making the album her sixth in a row to do so, including one compilation. Having previously composed the song No More Make Me Sick for Made in 20, Boa assumed creative control over her sixth Japanese album, The Face, February 2008. The album debuted at the top of the weekly Oricon charts, making Boa one of only two artists in Japan to have six consecutive studio albums top the Oricon weekly charts, the other is Ayumi Hamasaki, who has eight consecutive number one albums. On June 9, 2008, Boa and nine other artists from around the world recorded an English cover of Wei Wei's Dedication of Love. Produced by Roald Hoffman and Brian Allen, the single was used to raise funds for victims of the Sichuan earthquake. But due to a tight schedule, Boa was pulled back from this project. Korean jewelry brand Rami also released, Rami by Boa, a line of jewelry designed by the singer herself. 2008-2012, American Expansion and Return to Asia. Boa in 2009, on September 2, 2008, it was announced that Boa would make her American debut under a new subsidiary label, SM Entertainment USA. Hoping to become a world-renowned entertainer in the vein of Janet Jackson, Boa's debut American single Eat You Up was produced by Thomas Trollson and released online on October 21, 2008. It charted at number 9 on Billboard's Hot Dance Club Play chart. To promote the single, Boa performed Eat You Up as well as other songs at YouTube's Tokyo Live concert and performed in New York City on December 3, 2008, as well as the Jingle Ball at the Anaheim Honda Center on December 6, 2008. The following year, she released I In Universe Believe in Love and was also featured in Ravex's single Believe in Love. Boa's self-titled English album was released in the US on March 17 and featured tracks by producers Bloodshe and Avant as well as a duet with Sean Garrett. 
Her second Japanese compilation album, Best in USA was released on March 18 tying together a compilation of recent hits in Japan with her English language debut. Though she stated that I, T has always been my dream to debut in America, she found English tougher to learn than Japanese and despite living in West Beverly Hills, found it difficult to make friends. Boa later headlined the San Francisco Pride Festival on June 28, 2009 alongside Solange Knowles and The Clicks, where she also performed the song Energetic for the first time in public, in addition to Eat You Up and I Did It For Love. On August 31, SMUSA released Boa Deluxe, a repackaged version of her debut English album, the album contained two new tracks and the radio edit version of Energetic. With her U.S. career struggling to gain traction, Boa returned to Asia to release her seventh Japanese album, Identity, February 2010. Promoted by the singles Bum Bump. Featuring verbal from M. Flo and Mamoru Tai, White Wishes, December 2009, the album only charted at number 4, selling 37,606 copies in its first week. With little promotion from her label, it ended her run of six consecutive number one albums, suggesting that it would be impossible for her to sustain her career in three territories simultaneously. Her first Korean album in five years, Hurricane Venus, was released on August 5, 2010, and sold 55,776 units making it the 22nd best-selling album in South Korea for 2010. She also represented South Korea and performed at the 7th Asia Song Festival, organized by Korea Foundation for International Culture Exchange, at the Seoul Olympic Stadium. Boa made her Hollywood movie debut in the dance film Make Your Move 3D, playing the character I opposite Derek Hawk. Though filming wrapped in 2011, it received a 2013 release. The movie received mixed reviews, with Inko Kang of the Los Angeles Times praising the choreography but stating that W, an ever actor Derek Hawk and Boa stop leaping and twirling, it is an underwritten mess. To celebrate the 10th anniversary of her Japanese debut, Boa released Milestone, which ranked at number 4 on the Oricon Weekly Music DVD charts. She also held her 10th anniversary concert on December 10th to 11th at Tokyo International Forum. Following the concert, Boa shifted her activities to her native county, joining the judging panel on SBS's audition program K-Pop Star as a representative of SM Entertainment, alongside Yang Hyun Suk from YG Entertainment and Park Jin Young from JYP Entertainment. Boa received praise for her ability as a judge with her insightful comments and discerning eyes, and also sang the theme song One Dream. For her seventh Korean album, Only One, July 2012, Boa wrote and composed its title track, while its dance steps choreographed by Nappy Tabs, who has previously worked with Boa in Kobu. Upon its release, Only One achieved an all-kill on several music charts. She followed this up with the second The Shadow, was released August 18, 2012. Additionally, she recorded the song Lookin featuring the Queet for Hyundai's premium unique lifestyle campaign. 2013 to 2015, music production, television role, and 15th anniversary. Boa as Benadine slash as Global Campaign Ambassador in March 2013, Boa launched her first Korean tour with Boa Special Live 2013, Here I Am Tour at the Olympic Hall, and released the song Disturbance, which she wrote and composed, to commemorate her first concert tour in South Korea. In September 2013, Boa starred in KBS 2 episode drama Special Expected Date alongside Choi Daniel and MC Wan, her full first role in a drama, following a string of cameo appearances. She received praise for her acting performance. She also participated in Infinity Challenges by Annual Song Festival and was paired with Lee Sang's Gil, with the two co-produced the song GAB. In March 2014, Boa was appointed as a de facto creative director in SM Entertainment, alongside label mate Kang Ta. She was placed in charge of mental care of artists who debut at a young age. The singles for Boa's eighth Japanese album, Who's Back? September 2014, were released over a span of four years prior to the album's release, We Weekend and I See Me in 2010, Milestone in 2011, Only One, Tale of Hope and Message Slash Call My Name in 2013, and Shout It Out and Masayum Chasing in 2014. To promote the album, she embarked on her Boa Live Tour 2014 Who's Back? tour in September, her first Japanese tour in four years. After the tour concluded, Boa starred in her first Korean film, Big Match alongside Lee Jung Jae and Shin Ha Kyun the old Japanese single Fly was released on December 3, 2014. Her eighth Korean album Kiss My Lips, May 2015, became her first entirely self-written, self-produced album, working alongside American producers The Underdogs and Stereotypes. The single, Who Are You, Feet. Geiko, was released prior to the album's unveiling, along with its accompanying music video, which starred EXO Seven as the male lead. 
The rest of the album was unveiled on May 12 along with an official music video of the eponymous title track. Billboard called the singer a promising songwriter despite moments of musical blandness. That July, she performed her Boa special Live 2015, known as to commemorate her 15th anniversary. The concert took place on August 22nd and 23rd at the Sejong Center for the Performing Arts in South Korea, making Boa the first female idol to hold a solo concert at this venue. This was followed by Boa Special Live 2015, known as in Japan which took place on December 11, 2015 at Tokyo International Forum Hall A. Her 15th anniversary in Japan the following year was celebrated in a similar fashion, 85, including the release of the song Lookbook, and a 15th anniversary edition of Boa's Japanese winter hit, Mary Curie. As part of SM Entertainment's special winter project, Winter Garden, Boa released a digital single entitled Christmas Paradise. 2016 present, musical projects, television production, and acting debut, on January 12, 2016, Boa released an English-language single Make Me Complete, which serves as the theme song for the Fuji TV special drama Uku, starring Sanwajiri Erika and Watanabe Manu. That June, she collaborated with Korean rapper Bien Zeno for SM Entertainment's SM Station project. The duo released the single No Matter What, which ranked her top five domestic charts. Boa worked with Beat Burger for another SM Station single titled Music is Wonderful, where she participated in the composing and writing of the track. From October to November 2016, Boa starred in JTBC's romance melodrama Listen to Love, returning to the small screen after three years. The following year, Boa became one of the producers from Nets boy group survival reality show, Produce 101 Season 2, which aired from April 7 to June 16. Boa later released another song for SM Station, Spring Rain, an R&B number produced by Kenzie. In May, Boa embarked on her Boa The Live and Billboard Live Tour, held in Tokyo and Osaka. She also released the single Kemo, a dance song with a heavy emphasis on bass and synthesizer sounds, which was a change in sound from her previous materials and produced by the underdogs. In July, she released the Japanese single Right Here, Right Everywhere for the soundtrack of drama Yanyuro no Koibito. She later starred in the film Autumn Sonata alongside Lee Hak Ju, playing a terminally ill patient. In 2018, Boa returned to Japan and released her ninth Japanese album Watashi Kanamama the Inakana on February 14, 2018, followed by EPM Jane in March. To accompany the release of the EP, she embarked on the Boa the Live 2018, Unchained tour from March 15 to April 4. People who attended the concerts received a copy of Unchained. On January 31st, she released Niga Dola, which served as a single for Boa's then upcoming first extended play. The EP, One Shot, Two Shot, was released on February 20th, alongside its titular lead single in the song's music video. The EP peaked at number 6 at the South Korean Gion album chart and number 7 at the Billboard World Albums chart. On October 24th, she released her ninth Korean album Woman alongside a lead single of the same name. The album peaked at number 6 at the Gion album chart, number 11 at the Billboard World Albums chart. On June 4, 2019, she released the single Feedback, which features rapper Nuxel, alongside the song's music video. Boa embarked on her mood tour, which had six dates in Japan and two dates in Seoul, from September to October 2019. On October 23, she released a new Japanese single, Wishing Well, which she earlier debuted on the tour. On December 11, 2019, she released her second extended play Starry Night. In May 2020, Boa was featured as one of the coaches for the third season of The Voice of Korea, alongside dynamic duo, Sung Si Kyung, and Kim Jong Kook. On December 1, 2020, she released her 10th Korean album Better. Boa lists hip-hop as her main musical influence, though she also enjoys R&B. Her favorite musicians are Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Justin Timberlake, and Ni Yo. As a result, much of Boa's music is either dance pop or R&B. Because she also sings ballads, she is often compared to Japanese singers Naomi Muro and Ayumi Hamasaki. Her debut album, ID. Peace B, contained urban pop, slickly produced ballads, and upbeat dance tunes. As her career went on, she began experimenting with different styles, Valenti contained mostly ballads. Love and Honesty was an experiment with hard R&B and rock music. The face was influenced by electropop and included Happy Spring songs, Sweet Impact and Bad Drive, a guitar-driven groovy dance song, Lose Your Mind, and Ballads. Because the composition and writing of Boa's songs is handled mostly by her staff, Boa has been criticized as being a manufactured pop star. 
In response to such criticism, Boa said that if one person were to force their own will on something, then things that should have gone right could easily go wrong and that she is not all that unhappy with the expression that she is a manufactured star. In a way, that is true. Because SM Entertainment created the environment and all the surrounding conditions, she is able to be successful in the way she is now. She later assumed creative control with a face, while Kiss My Lips became her first entirely self-written, self-produced album. Boa has collaborated with high-profile artists. Among the Japanese artists she has performed with are the hip-hop group M-Flow, for the single The Love Bug, pop singer Kumi Koda, and house DJ Mondo Grosso. She has performed with Western artists. The song Flying Without Wings from her album Next World was a collaboration with Irish band Westlife covering the original song. The Brad's single Show Me What You Got was performed with Howie D of the American band Backstreet Boys. She also worked with Akon, singing the song Beautiful, which was featured on the Japanese release of his third album, Freedom. Other artists she has collaborated with are Solid Out, Dabo, Verbal, of M-Flow, Ra D, Simo, TVXQ, Yutaka Furukawa, of the band Doping Panda, and Crystal K, for her single After Love, First Boyfriend Girlfriend. American rock band Weezer covered Mary Curry on the Japanese version of their album Weezer. Endorsements, because of her wide appeal, Boa has appeared in advertisements for many brands. Among the brands she has promoted are Olympus, Lot, Nike, L'Oreal, Japanese cosmetic company Kose, Skechers, Audio Technica, GM Daewoo and Lachetain. Several of her songs have been used in affiliation with television shows. Every Heart, Nana no Kimoki was used as the ending theme for the anime Nuyasha. Beside You, Boka Oyobuko was used as the opening theme for the anime Monkey Typhoon. Key of Heart was the theme song for the Japanese release of Over the Hedge. Your Color was the theme song of the video game 99 Nights. Mamertai, White Wishes was the theme song of the video game Tales of Graces. Tale of Hope was used as the theme for the Japanese drama Hokui no Namida, and Masayum Chasing was used as the 15th opening theme song for the anime Fairy Tale. In 2007, Anika, a Samsung brand, signed Boa, Za, of TVXQ, Tableau, of Epic High, and jazz pianist Jin Bora onto Animan, a band created specifically to promote Anika. The band released only one single, Any Band. In December 2010, she recorded I See Me For to promote Audio Technica headphones in Japan. The song Wu Weekend was used to promote Disney on Ice's 25th anniversary in Japan while Lookbook served as the ending theme for the NTVK program Tokyo We To Go To To Urwashi No Shali Ga Konya Kurabet In August 2017, it was announced that Boa was chosen as promotional ambassador for Jeju Biennale, an inaugural international art event on the resort island of Jeju. In her widespread popularity has also made her a cultural ambassador. She has represented South Korea in inter-Asian musical events and has appeared in an Oxford University Press published English language textbook. Impact, dubbed the Queen of K-Pop, Boa is considered as one of the century's top artists in East Asia. Her popularity in the latter is attributed to her linguistic skills, she speaks and records in Japanese, Korean, and English, and a Japanese interest in Korean pop culture started in the early 2000s when the two countries began promoting cultural exchanges. Boa's popularity extends throughout East Asia. She has fans in China, Hong Kong, Singapore and Taiwan. She had expressed plans to enter a global market. In June 2006, the music video of her Korean song My Name became the first music video ever shown on MTVK, an MTV music channel directed at Korean Americans. Though her earlier releases were marked by a cute and youthful style, Boa began to present a more mature image starting from the album My Name. In a Talk Asia interview, Anjali Rao noted that some felt that my name marked the beginning of Boa's decline in popularity and asked if the public would always see the singer as little baby Boa. Boa replied, so while I apologize to those people who still want the baby Boa, in fact, what can I do? I just keep growing up. I can't stop that from happening.